Hello, welcome to another episode of Papa Bear Hikes. All right, well, now we're going to talk about the Loyal Sock Trail. If you've been following some of the episodes I've had with Special K and Peekabrew, we've talked about this trail a little bit, and on our YouTube channel, Martin Outside, there's some footage of our most recent trip to the Loyal Sock Trail. And while we're on the topic of YouTube, please go to the YouTube channel, subscribe, like, and hit the notification button, because from here on out, I'll be posting some footage from some of our trips and adventures, and we'll be throwing in some tips and some hints and some ideas. But now back to the trail, to the Loyal Sock Trail. The Loyal Sock Trail is a hiking-only trail. It's located in, and is located in North Central Pennsylvania. The Loyal Sock is a east-west, west-east trail. It looks almost more diagonal. From the west, the trail begins near the town of Montoursville, Pennsylvania, and ends just east of World's End State Park, which there's a lot to do there in itself. There's probably days of hiking just within World's End State Park. Actually, our discovery of the Loyal Sock Trail started on a trip to World's End State Park. Up until then, the Loyal Sock seemed like a well-kept secret to me. However, this past summer, it was featured in Backpacker Magazine, so I'm not sure how long they're going to keep this a secret. It is a great beginner's trail. And when I say beginner, if you're somebody that's ready to take that first multi-day backpacking trip, this is a, a good trail because it's going to throw different things at you uh, without breaking your back, so to speak. Uh, there are sections where it's going to be challenging. There is some elevation gain, but then you're going to have some nice stretches where you're on railroad grade or on carriage roads. There are some beautiful views, lots of waterfalls. If waterfalls is your thing, lots of waterfalls. There's plenty of water for the most part, unless we're in a drought. This is a great multi-day backpacking trip for somebody who's just maybe going to take their first multi-day trip. The Loyal Sock Trail was laid out in 1951 by Boy Scout Troop 110 of Williamsport, Pennsylvania. In 1953, the Alpine Club of Williamsport was organized, and they have since been the maintainers of the trail. Like most long-distance trails, the Loyal Sock Trail is a work in progress. There have been several additions and reroutes over the years, starting in 1962. Then there were additional relocations and extensions of the trail in 73, 75, 83, 84, and most recently in 2001. As I mentioned, the Loyal Sock Trail over a variety of terrains, including not just forest paths, but logging roads and railroad grade. The Loyal Sock is blazed with round plastic discs that are yellow and red with the LT on there. And if you've been to my Instagram or my Twitter account, you'd see I had on there, Guess the Trail, and some of you did. Some of you did a great job on that. Some of the trail still has the old rectangular 2x6 yellow and just a simple yellow and red blaze on it. But it seems like they're transitioning to the disc which makes it a lot easier to navigate to keep track of the trail. But it will warn you, when you get up into World's End State Park, there is a lot of trails up there. And it can get confusing, so you're going to want to have your map in hand and really pay attention to the blazes. You're not going to get terribly lost, but you could find yourself walking around for quite a while trying to find your way back before you realize you're not on the trail you need to be on. The Little Sock doesn't have any shelters on it but there are plenty of camping opportunities there's a few areas where there's private property but if you're being responsible and buying the maps you'll be aware of where the private property is and there the alpine club has a great trail guide that provides all the information you need to keep yourself off of private property and also to help you follow the, the typical leave no trace guidelines things we should be doing anyway and that's in regards to how close you camp to a stream how far you camp away from the trail a lot of it's just common sense but just in the amount of hiking i've done on the loyal sock there is no shortage of places to camp which again adds to why it is such a good first multi-day backpacking trip also check to see when hunting season is we were out there two weeks ago and it was hunting season and we saw quite a few hunters really nice guys but most importantly regarding hunting season make sure you dress properly wear your orange blaze clothing I have a fleece that's orange blaze and a hat. Anywhere I'm hiking when it's hunting season, it's just, again, it's a precautionary measure. And it's also being respectful to the hunters. They, they don't want there to be accidents out there. They're, they're behaving in a responsible way. We need to as well. We need to coexist. We need to understand we're sharing these wilderness areas with people that have other outdoor interests. 
We've officially passed the midway point in our hiking. We're, we're section hiking it. We haven't done any overnights on the Loyal Sock. Like I said, there's been there's t- there, those times when it's given you those small challenges, those uphills that kind of can take your breath away. It's given us some nice views, lots of waterfalls. In this past hike, we were walking along a stream that when I went and looked back at it and looked in the guidebook, we actually crossed this stream seven times. There's a very strong support system for this trail. They have a very active Facebook group. There's people that help with shuttles. And the Alpine Club does a really nice job of maintaining the trail. So this is one for you people to go out and give it a shot. I mean, if you're in the Northeast, especially if you're in the southern tier of New York or the northern tier of Pennsylvania, this is a trail really worth checking out. If you want to just do it for a day hike 